Hello everybody, my name is Varus and welcome to Satisfactory. So we've been dropped here with one mission to build a space elevator and to kind of take every single resource this planet has to offer. Explore and exploit. And just turn it into whatever our little hearts can desire. So I, it's exactly what I plan to do and I think the first thing we should do is just plan to kick out the local ecosystem and put our base of operations right in their natural habitat. Right there. Fantastic. This game is pretty standard and straightforward. You, you start off punching the ground, and then you make something that can punch the ground for you. And here's our guy. He punches the floor for us. So now we can take the stuff that this guy, who just never stops punching the floor, we can take his items, turn them into ingots, and we just completely skip this step entirely now. But I think... I don't think one's enough. I think we should have more than one, just for efficiency's sake. And done. Surely this is what they meant <laughs> by efficiency. I mean, 250 portable miners is damn near the most efficient setup you can have on a ore deposit at this stage in the game, surely. Right before hub upgrade two. Uh, this, this took a, quite a quite a bit, but that's okay, because we're set for, uh, we're set. We're good, we're good now, right? It's, it's the perfect setup. There's nothing that could possibly beat this. Now, unfortunately, there is actually something better than 250 portable miners, but I mean, in the same sense, this requires power. And these don't. These, these little guys just run off of pure determination and contempt for the human race, I guess. I don't know. They all look very upset with their small little eyes all looking at me. Regardless, um, I guess we have portable miners now. We also have a finished hub, so let's see what new tiers we can unlock, what new items are at our disposal. So with our completed tier zero hub upgrades, it looks like we now have base building, logistics, field research, obstacle clearing, which is a chainsaw, parts assembly, jump pads, resource, blah, 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 blah. What I'm more interested in is the base building, logistics, and obstacle clearing, because if you'll notice, we are actually in a forest, and I know that we use biomass burners a little later on in the game to kind of make power, so I think it would be beneficial to just knock all of the biofuel, leaf, wood, whatever, gathering out in one fell swoop. So the goal is the chainsaw along with base building logistics and, you know, whatever else we need to make uh, a fully functioning early game power setup that's way over the top. So we will get base building. And we will get obstacle clearing. With the obstacle clearing upgrade, we can now craft the chainsaw, which is fantastic. Look at this thing. So I think now, with armed nothing but a chainsaw and some biofuel, we're gonna go hack away at some trees. This is what the northern forest looks like before a deranged madman with 200 biomass and a chainsaw comes through. Pretty standard stuff, lots of trees everywhere. And this is what it looks like after. Completely barren of all life, except for, you know, the occasional little shrub and tree that I missed. But, I'd say we did a, pr a pretty good, uh, pretty good job at, at completely taking what this planet has to offer and, and just utilizing it to its fullest. Now all of the forest has been turned into those storage crates that you see there. The one on the left is leaves, the one in the middle is wood, and the one on the far right is mycelium. So each one of these is completely full, roughly 12,000 in each, except for the top, which only has two. The wood, same with that, you know, 4,800, I think is the limit completely full as you can see. We are going to calculate how much biomass this is going to make and how much solid biofuel and then get a rough estimate on power and we should I'd say be pretty good for the rest of the <laughs> for the rest of the uh, foreseeable future. At least I hope so or another forest is going to have to burn. I'm looking at you forest across the ravine. So I just did the math, total all these leaves up and it's actually 98,016. Now unfortunately that is just too close to 100,000, so I gotta go get another storage container full of leaves just to make it, just to make it legit. So I crunched the numbers. On the leaf side, we have 104,329 leaves. For the logs, we have 12,561, which brings our grand totals to 
52,164.5 biomass for the leaves, and then 62,805 biomass for the logs, bringing our grand total of biomass to 114,969. And to convert all that are these two constructors right here, baby. Yes, sir. One for each. No, I'm kidding. We're going to have to build a pretty sizable amount of constructors. <laughs> And we only have a 60 per minute uh, belt speed, which is, it's so not enough. Now on the tail end for, for converting the biomass to solid biofuel, that's going to be a total of 57,000 solid biofuel at the end of all this, which is crazy. I mean, the, so, so basically the entire northern forest has been condensed to 57,000 solid biofuel. And if that's not efficiency, I don't know what is. And I just did the numbers to... To move all of that solid biofuel down one 60 items per minute conveyor belt will take 31 hours total. It would take a full, more than a day, uh, to move all of the biomass that's going to be made from this down one 60 item per minute belt. So we're going to probably have to unlock Logistics Mark II soon and upgrade this setup. But for now, I think I'm just going to build something quick get some biofuel burners going and that way we can have power forever until nuclear we can totally just skip the whole like coal step i think this will be really really good for us so i'll get started on that so here it is the power setup that will get us through the entirety of the early game and hopefully we will never have to forage for resources again this right now puts out about 180 uh, solid biofuel per minute and then I guess we can just add on to the row of biomass burners as needed so unfortunately we're limited by the amount of items we can put out because I can only get logistics mark 2 so I had to handcraft about 250 reinforced iron plates and screws because we don't we don't have a screw assembly line yet which was rather unfortunate in the making of this but that's that's behind us now we can make the best screw setup ever and it's probably going to go over in this field or up in that field or up in that field that used to be forest or by the last tree in the northern forest um so that's that's probably next on the docket but now we don't have to worry about power forever i also got some bouncy new legs some uh some armored legs which is neat because i didn't have these when i cleared the entire forest i wish i kind of did because it makes life a whole lot easier so let's start this factory up and to actually get things going on yippee okay so now that is power we're good no more fuses going down none of that we're good it's a wonderful thing and i even have an, a, a whole extra 60 per minute just uh just in case so I'm, I'm thinking about what to do for these screw factories, and I remember the Ada lady, whatever you want to call her, it says to embrace verticality, and I can only think that that means build these as high as you can, and don't let anything touch the ground. So I think that's what we're going to be shooting for here, but I got to figure out a way to get up there now luckily I think with these ladders um, there should there should be a way with these ladders to where we can get up there you, you don't really have to take gravity into a into consideration in this game you can just build one of the tallest freestanding man-made structures ever and it's just ladders which is wonderful I just don't know what I'm gonna do once I get up here Hoping you can just build foundation floors on on these. Uh, this is terrifying. I I see many a death. <laughs> I see many a death in the works here. Unfortunately, you cannot build foundations. Can you stand on top of the ladder? Oh goodness. Oh. Okay. Just kind of wondering here how how I'm supposed to get a foundation block up here because I can keep going with these I just don't know I don't know the quickest way to get floor all right I think I figured it out and oh baby we are in business I don't uh, is there a build limit to this game to answer that question I don't think so 
This game is rather amazing, and I think I can see like nine different biomes from here. Fourteen different biomes, roughly, or I would assume what is the whole map. But I'm not entirely sure. This map is huge. To say the least, this is where screws are going to be made. <laughs> right up here, I think. Uh, unfortunately, we only have a 60 item per minute conveyor belt. So I think that might have to change. But we'll see. Maybe we'll just have like two constructors up here, you know. We'll be fine. We'll just belt, uh, belt them all down and, and, you know, do the rest on the floor. I don't know. But I think I should probably, before I start building this factory, go down there and turn it on. I wonder if I could... Whoa. Okay. I wonder if I could go to the hub and land in that water. Whoa. That's one of those, like, sky stingray things. I don't even know what they're called, but I always thought they flew up high. I guess not. So the, the goal is the hub. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it for sure. Too fast, too factory. Move faster than 140 kilometers per hour. We got it. Oh, this is easy. Come on now. We're going to overshoot it. I don't know if water breaks your fall in this game, but I guess we'll find out. It does. Wow. Fantastic. I'm glad we figured that out. Anyways... Let's turn on all those conveyor lifts and get the iron moving up. That way, by the time I get the factory built, maybe they'll be actually up there. <laughs> oh, and there they go. Why'd they stop? Why'd they stop? I think they're technically still moving. I, I hope they still, they're still moving. So the number keeps increasing on the belt. I'm assuming 40 is the limit. Four, five, six... Seven, all right, okay, so they're going up. So I guess we'll meet them up there and see if the other conveyor belts are also stuck. Like this one. Oh, there they are. All right, I guess it's a race then. I think I'm gonna win. This guy's gotta have quads of steel, like five minutes of straight ladder climbing and I don't know, my forearms, my leg, my everything would be dead. This guy's strong. I wish he could go in the third person. Gotta carry that big head of ours around. I always forget that it's a, a massive head on this character model. And there we go. At some point, at some point, maybe in three hours, screws will come out of this conveyor hole. Whoa! I just... Oh, cool, the iron's here. Okay. Fantastic. So the iron does make it all the way out. I just heard the smelters kick up. And, uh... I guess soon we'll be filling up with screws. We better figure out a way to get all this down. I think what I'm going to do so my head doesn't explode is just belt each one of these down a single hole and then figure it out on the ground. Instead of building a whole bunch of stuff up here and needing you know, this, that, and the other. <laughs> Making a 10-minute trip down and then a 10-minute trip back up. I think that would be beneficial. And there we go. Each one of them spitting out screws. So we can start going down. Whoops. Too fast, too fast, too fast. It's truly detrimental when you fall because it takes like 10 minutes to get back up. So I'm going to try my best not to do that. Now this is going to work out great. This is going to be way easier than going up. Whoops. Whoops. Stop. 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 No. No. Uh, just rip my shoulders out of the socket real quick and grab that ladder. <laughs> Whoops. Did it again. I hope I brought enough plates up, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, gotta go get more, more plate. And it's actually quicker, I'm not gonna lie, to jump down, get your death box, and then just go about your business. Am I gonna land on that thing? I hope not. That would be very unfortunate. Ooh, whoa! Right by it. Oh, <laughs> big head. Every time I die, I forget we, have, we got a, a massive noggin on us. And we're underwater. Cool. Wow, it's like a terrible waterfall. And there you have it, the easiest way to get 240 screws per minute, and all it cost was my sanity. Fantastic. Look at all those conveyor belts. Man, ooh-wee. Who needs structural supports? Not us. So that is, I guess, our fully functional uh, screw factory, I guess if you want to call it. I mean, they said build the space elevator, so I can only assume that this is what they meant, right? Like, this is an elevator going to, I guess, high atmosphere, nearly space, 
and then they just come right back down. So, easy peasy, right? Oh. This is what they meant. Well, I mean, arguably, ours is taller than the actual space elevator, so... Really, who won? I mean... Okay, so I'm not even all the way up the ladder, and I can already see the top of this thing, so... I think this is a subpar space elevator, and ours is the, the superior space elevator. I mean, they've got this giant needle going... To, oh, I fell. Oh, no. Oh, anyways. <laughs> they've got this giant needle going all the way, like, forever, but that's cheating. So, in my eyes, I think we've construct... Everything's stuck again. Okay. I think we've constructed a better space elevator. But, I mean, that's just me. We've got to be at least 100 meters above it. I'd say, roughly, not counting this this part. <laughs> it's blatantly, obviously cheating. Where am I gonna hit that guy? Man, if I time this perfect, I'm gonna lose it. Come on, come on. I'll catch you in the next episode. See you later. Bye. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. Well, this has been fun. If you guys want to see another episode of Satisfactory, just let me know in the comments. And I hope to continue making videos. This is uh, fun. Just had to take a break for a little while. Just do some uh, work stuff and life stuff. But uh, hopefully now I can get back into it. Because I really, really enjoy making these. So, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Uh, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much.